Okay, when it comes to Fibonacci trading, you want to do a, a couple of things. Number one, the first step that you want to take is you want to you want to look at a uh, zoomed out approach. Take a zoomed out approach, if you will. If we zoom in, we can tend to um, we can tend to measure areas that are not really worth measuring. Um, you can let's just say overdo your Fibonacci analysis by looking at something like this and maybe having the tendency to measure it for the purposes of Fibonacci analysis. So you want to look at your time frames. If you trade a 15 minute chart, take a look at an hourly chart. Um, this is a daily chart and I don't have all the information up I'd like to show you but as you can see we got a major high over here and a major high down here and uh, this is significant mostly because of the time frame what's taking place right now. Now that's not to say that there's not some fantastic analysis that can be done in here uh, but what you'll need to do is go to for example a one hour or a 15 minute time frame and zoom out like we're doing right here and take a peek. Um, in this case what we'll do is we will you know most of what you'll be doing is extensions. We take the high oops wrong wrong tool here let's see here retracement we take the high and the low and we measure we take our analysis and in other words we're taking this high and this low so price let's just say is doing this right here it's moving up okay and we're looking at a daily chart for a long-term perspective so as price begins to approach this 23 percent retracement level right here we know to be cautious uh, as it blows through and continues up and approaches this level we know to use caution. You can see that in this case, let me get my arrow, in this case we're not even really getting any significant, let's see here, I'm just going to go right, right there, well I want to move this so you can read that. We're not even getting any significant um, um, hits on our lines at all until just recently where we found nice strong support here. Okay, so again, this is a long-term approach. Um, what we would do in addition to this is zoom in. If we're trading the daily chart, we're going to zoom into the hourly chart and uh, use that approach. Now, I'm going to remove this real quick because on the daily chart there is another analysis that we can do right now. Again, we we took this high and we took this low and let me show you one more trick before we move on when you take a high and a low it's because let me get a, oops and I can click right here I'm looking right where it says LO 1.1876 literally right here but I can I don't need to move my mouse over there I mean I can but um, I like to just watch that line hit the low and then click and drop it Okay, so the reason we use this high and this low is because, like I said, let me grab my pen tool. Prices, let's just say, up to this point. Okay, prices has come down, bounced here, and it's moving up. That's why we use this high and this low. Could we use this high and this low, or this high and this low? You could, but you're going to overanalyze with Fibonacci. Now let me let me remove that and let's see here. Boom, delete. Okay, now uh, we did find we did see support there. This could be useful. Uh, no reason to remove that except that I want you to see um, the new analysis that we're going to do, which is uh, we're going to grab retracements and we're going to go um, low and high. And this is what I wanted to show you. And I just failed to do it over there. When you, whatever direction you're measuring, make sure it starts at zero. In other words, when we measured this high over here and this low down here, make sure that as price is resuming or reassuming a trend up, make sure it starts at zero and goes up to 100. In this case, if we measured from here and they use this low, 100% would be back here. Okay. In other words, a move up would be right about here be 50 percent 61.8 72 whatever then a 100 percent likewise in this scenario when we measure from here to here once again we know let's see we know that price 
has made it from here to here and is and is beginning to make its way okay so price has made its way from here oh I can't I, for some reason I can't draw but made its way up to here beginning to move down that's when we take our measurement let's get rid of that okay that's when we take our measurement and we want to make sure that the move from where we start let's just say price is about here but the move is going from 0 to 100 right now notice um, and this is when you oh let me move you over a little bit okay and the move is going from 0 to 100 okay we're starting at 0 we're measuring from 0 to 100 you're never measuring from 100 to 0 so as price begins to move this way notice also this is a 50 percent retracement level so let's do this what we're going to do is we're going to draw another retracement of the original from here to this low and what you're going to notice is that that 50 percent level is also a 23 percent level highly probable reversal area if only for the short term and that's how you use Fibonacci let me show you one other um, simple way to round off this lesson with, regarding, with regard to Fibonacci analysis is this. When you measure and price begins to move back and retraces, okay, it's a retracement, it's retracing its footstep. It's like if you, if you walked through a park and you lost your keys, you would turn around and retrace your steps back. When you got back to where you started, you would have made a 100% retracement. If you went further than that, that would be foolish because your keys shouldn't be further than that. But if you went further, that would be an extension. Let me show you what I mean. Um, price goes up, price comes down all the way to here. Again, we took this low, we took this high. If price goes all the way back to here, that would be 100% retracement. Beyond that would be 123.6, 138.2, 150%. One sixty one point eight and so on, and that's what makes up extensions. Hope this video helps, and uh, if you have any more any questions or you want to download other material uh, regarding Fibonacci trading and Fibonacci analysis analysis, visit my website. It's Fibonacci. It's FibonacciGenius.com.